Okay, we are in West Florida and uh, we are in a small strawberry demonstration trap and uh, I just wanted to show you an example of um, one of the top most fungal diseases on strawberry, the anthracnose fruit so The disease can start at the uh, early stages but uh, uh, late infections can cause these big sunken lesions uh, on anthracnose fruit, um, or of anthracnose fruit rot uh, on strawberries and the fruits are not marketable anymore. Uh, yield losses can vary anywhere from um, in a high incidence from 50 to 100 percent and um, in this field because of a good management fungicide rotation management program uh, the disease was kept pretty low at um, I would say 10 to 15 percent uh, losses but um, uh, it's a well managed uh, field compared to many other fields where the infection could be very drastic and very high. Uh, the spores of this fungus can easily be spread by water or by people moving in or by equipment and uh, um, a lot of care has to be taken to uh, buy clean transplants, uh, use good fungicide rotation programs uh, to effectively manage the disease from early season uh, so that you could have a um, good expected yield uh, of strawberries. Uh, that is angular leaf spot and uh, uh, the key symptoms include these uh, uh, small uh, yellow spots uh, on the upper surface of the leaf and if you flip the leaf a lot of the times you can uh, uh, and if you carefully look at it you can see water soaking uh, of the leaves which is a very good indicator for angular leaf spot uh, caused, by, caused by Xanthomonas fragaria. Uh, the disease can be very effectively managed if um, uh, growers would buy clean transplants, would have a good management plan where um, movement of uh, people, uh, equipment, um, uh, through these plots are effectively reduced uh, or if uh, if heavily used a good management practice of using copper based fungicides or systemic acquired resistance induces like Actica could uh, dramatically reduce the risk involved.